Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and in today's video I'm going to show you how I installed indirect LED strip lighting across my bedroom ceiling. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. Today I'm going to be installing the Gold V RGBIC LED strip lights across my bedroom ceiling. Alright so I made some cuts to make a corner, we make 45 degree cuts. So 245 is equal to 90. And that's how it's gonna go along. I marked four inches from the ceiling to here because it's gonna go like this. So we have some space for light to illuminate. So pretty much we're gonna take the brad nailer and start mounting this. So I got one nail in where I want it at that four inch mark. Then I'm gonna take my level, balance that out, and then just continue to mount. Pretty much repeat the process from here. Get a nice corner, nail them down, and start with this first layer, and then just repeat the process for the layer above that. All right, so we got the first layer up. It's going across the room. It's now time to cut the upper portion of our molding. Let's continue. Two forty-fives. Make a ninety-degree turn. All right. So it's gonna look a little something like this. Put these together, we have a nice 90. And putting these two together, give it a pretty nice look. The problem is I'm not gonna be able to get my nail gun in this direction. Maybe I can shoot from underneath, but from here I think I'm gonna glue it. For the other project, I glued it entirely as we're going across beams. So I have two products that I could use. For the living room installation, this is the product that I used. Loctite Power Grab Ultimate Crystal Clear. I could either use that, which I know for sure definitely works. And then afterwards, all these little seams, I can cover it with this right here. This is caulk silicone. So I could either use this just straight from the jump to glue the two pieces together and then seal the gaps, or I could use this to glue them together and then this to seal the gaps but when you use this to seal the gaps you really you know you make all the imperfections perfect i chose to go with the white caulk slash silicone here's the gun for it so i'm going to put a dab on the bottom and glue this on basically and then cover all the seams with this as well and it's going to make a huge difference this on, squeeze that, and then we want to cover the seams here. So you can see we have a seam there, this we cover it, make everything nice and smooth, and it's going to look like it's one piece. I'm going to repeat the process on this side. Drop this piece in. And level this up. And then cover the seams. Here we have the finished product. I must say it looks pretty good. So here we have two rolls which interconnect into one here and this is the plugs that it came with. So the idea is we're going to have the controller this way and we're going to run one length this way and the other length going that way. Lights come in a roll. If you look at the back we have a 3M adhesive so just peel back the lining and stick them on. So we're just going to have them facing up towards the ceiling. Once you get to the end on one side and you have extra LED lights, 
it is definitely not recommended that you cut them but you can and when you do cut them cut them alongside those four copper strips it is not advised to cut these but i have done it in the past it is going to work but the thing is you can program each part of the led a certain color if a part of the led that you cut off is not there anymore you lost that control of that part so that's pretty much that you lose a bit of control either fold it over or cut it have it coming right down the middle one led strip goes down this way and then the other goes that way so i have the wire just coming straight down this had uh, an adhesive in the back, just peel it back like the lights, stuck it on the wall. And I had these little clips. I could just hold the wire tight. Made it as neat as possible. I do have this here. And then I just ran the wire right into the outlet. Once you got things in the way, you can't really tell anything. The wire looks pretty good. You can control the lights directly from here, but we're gonna go ahead and download the app. I'm gonna download the Govi Home app and behind your packaging here, you're gonna look for your model number. In this case, it's the H6126. So we're gonna get over here in our app, click the top arrow on the top right. And we're gonna search for that model number. We're gonna go for LED strip and find that model number. These are going to be under RGBIC lights, and here they are, H6126. You're going to need to enable your Bluetooth. Just discovered this device. Connecting. And we're going to give this device a name. Bedroom ceiling and done. Version update. Let's give that an upgrade. Let this finish off. Right after the update, this is the screen that we have. Awesome. We have a timer on here. We can affect the brightness and we have different modes. We can go through color, which is pretty cool. We can choose our own color. And if you click scene, there's a bunch of scenes you can mess around with. But this right here is the LED strip. And you can program which part of the strip you want which color, which is pretty amazing. All right, everyone. I still have the lights on in the room and there's some light out outside, but I wanted you to see how it looks like in this setting. So here's the moment of truth. Whoa. Wow. That looks absolutely amazing. Whoa. That looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the light and see how it looks. Whoa, this entire room is blue. That is absolutely amazing. I love how it's not your average shape. It's like a zigzag or a Z. That is quite interesting. Through the app, we can also adjust the brightness, many different settings. Really cool. I do like it bright. If we go into the app, we have scenes. And scenes are super cool. So we can choose through different scenes. My favorite one is rainbow. I'm gonna click rainbow. Look at that. <laughs> wow, that is insane. And you can customize the effects if you want it brighter or lower light, if you want it faster. There's like really endless possibilities when it comes to this. So I'm just gonna go over a couple of uh, different settings that they have. And you can see how these lights operate. Whoa, star, what is that? Lightning, oh my Lord, that is insane, whoa. Universe, whoa, okay, okay. This is so crazy, oh man. And look, look how it looks when it's off. Well, you're not gonna see anything here <laughs> because there's no light but I love how it's hidden behind that molding. You can also create your own scenes. Then we have a DIY section where you could really customize this LED strip. Let's see, let's go back to color. 
And as you can see, this is our LED strip. Then you can choose different portions of it if you wanted a different color. So let's say that part is orange. As you can see, it just switched up. So you can program different segments of the LED strip to the color that you want. And that is absolutely amazing. There are so many different settings and scenes that you can choose from. It is truly a versatile LED light. I think it's absolutely amazing. I think it's worth every dollar. It was a super fun project and I think it added value to my space. I'm really loving how my room looks right now. Definitely puts me in that creative mood. And if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.